Hi guys, Adam Akkola here for Full Time Devils. This is a new, um, new feature that we've got on the channel, Terrace Talk. And today we're talking about fanzines and the importance of fanzines to football clubs. After the news that Red Issue are hanging up their pen after 26 years, what better time to make that, make that happen now? Uh, we're with Barney from Red News. Barney, how you doing, mate? Are you okay? Adam, how you doing? All good, thank you very much, Barney. Um, Barney, just a quick one, really. We want to know fanzines. How important are they to football culture? Well, I think they're still very important. I mean, I know in the 80s when we first started, obviously the internet wasn't there um, and they became a vocal you know, voice. Um, but I I'd still believe, however sad it is that Red Issues folded, that you need a voice because you, internet, Twitter, whatever, you have individual people making their own opinions. But you come together through a fanzine, whether it be through their forums, you know, and we all have different ways of supporting United. This, your new format, we'll all think differently about how it should be done. No right, no wrong. You know, you can support United the way you like, but we pretty much unite on certain things and then we bond and get along. And I'd still say the fanzines offer a vocal point on all matter of opinions where you can say what you want within, you know, certain yeah. parameters. And that's good. So as long, long may they continue, and I hope that Red News and United We Stand still has life in it left. Um, the Red Issue have made their decision based on the, the changing face of, of football and so on and so forth. How do you think fanzines have helped shape Manchester well, United and the, 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 the fan base? Well, certainly in the old days. I mean, there are certain things we fought for, which, you know, in the 90s, which was away tickets for European travel. Um, we were fighting time and time again. Barcelona 94, we weren't allowed any tickets for unofficial travellers. And then uh, Emusa was found in for the fanzines. Must was fan, you know, must basis of its early support came through sign-ins through the fanzines. The, the Murdoch takeover 98 attempt, then the Glazer takeover, all these things were vital and you never know what's coming next. Anything, you know, nothing, anything can change. So you still need voices to be yes. said and, and let people find whatever they, wherever they want to go, wherever they want to do it, it doesn't matter. People don't want to buy a fanzine, that's fair enough. But I'd still argue, give them a go. You know, the away fans, it's always different at the away games, it's a great, still great. Yeah. But try, give it a go. And then the home, Old Trafford, we know it's changed. You know, the half and half scuffs. That's, At least the selfie sticks have been banned. Yeah, that's, you know, shove them up their asses. But <laughs> it, it, their view of United is different to mine. I'm, no, I'm never going to tell anyone else how to support United. That's not what we do. But what we do say is have a laugh. We're there to enjoy United. We can have a moan, mm. you know, we can, but we can just let things off our chest, and that's good. It's that's good to have an opinion. That's it, that's it. And then everything shapes from it. You know, I know you get criticism. Everyone does and sees United in a different viewpoint, but it's lovely when it does come together, when you can go to a pub. All our hearts are in the same place as well. Yeah. We so, and then, you know, as I say, it changes. Life changes. When we, I first sold here in 1988, you met your mates because you'd said the pub you're going to. You didn't have mobile phones to connect with anyone. Life changes, so you adapt and evolve. Red Issue have just had enough of the... the you know, it's harder, it's tougher selling, it's, it's tough, you know, and it's me, very me. sad. I, I'm sad about it. Most of the fanzines are older than me. Um, yeah, Red News nice. is. Red Issue and United We yeah. Stand are at the same age, so shows how long they've been there. And well, that's it. And uh, then, but then, you know, you get young sellers. All, all the sellers are 20s. You know, they weren't even born when we were starting, so they give you enthusiasm and you think, what's the next generation? You pass the baton on. That's what it's all, you know, pass it. See what they do with it. And then you just think, right, you can put opinions in. You know, yeah, that's what it's all about. One final question. Um, You've touched on it a little bit, but do you see new media and um, channels such as ourselves as competition or ways no, that no, we, no, we can get a different... Because, you know, there have been other fanzines that have come. For whatever reasons, they didn't, they didn't continue. But, you know, you get too old where you think, don't worry about anyone else. It's hard enough time yeah. worrying about myself. So yeah. just do what, what, let anyone do whatever they want and let anyone have an opinion. Someone will come up and say, oh, I didn't like this in the fanzine. Great, because it's not... If I put a mag together that everyone went, oh, that's all right, then we're not doing it right. You know, it should be for all different opinions, come together, have, express it whichever way you want. But hopefully, you know, the fanzines aren't dead and there's life in, in all of us still. Make sure that everybody supports the fanzines. Red News, Red Issue, unfortunately, you can't buy those anymore. And um, United We Stand as well. They are very, very important 
to Manchester United and of course other football clubs as well. Make sure you subscribe to Full Time Devils. Thank you very much, Barney. I'm Adam McCall. I'm out of here.